Hi everyone, welcome to the last day of the week, uh, Friday the 21st of August. I hope you're all keeping well and I hope that you've been blessed this week, um, both with good health and with prosperous adventures. So before we start today, let's just have a look and, uh, well, first open up in prayer. So let's give our time to the Father. So Heavenly Father, thank you for today. And we come to you and we kneel before you and bow our head and give you thanks for everything that you are doing in our lives. And we ask you to just penetrate your love and your word through to our hearts so that we may be able to understand your good and pleasing will. So we just ask in the mighty name of Jesus that this time is spent for you and with you. And uh, may you be able to penetrate our hearts in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, so we've been looking at this uh, uh, period of, of, of time which has got to do with um, repentance and uh, forgiveness and restoration and uh, reconciliation. And, you know, it's an ongoing journey. It's not something that's a light switch that can be done overnight, although it can be done in, the, in, in if the Holy Spirit brings the, the, the power of forgiveness to us that will allow us to be able to see his workings in and through our lives otherwise it's just an ongoing process because every day we do find ourselves in situations where you know we we may need to look at where we uh, could do better and get closer to the lord and also where we need to forgive uh, ourselves and each other so i don't want to rush into it that's what i'm trying to say is that the lord can do a miraculous work within a split second but i don't want to rush it because it let it be in the lord's timing that he'd be able to bring the the, the um, repentance and the forgiveness and the restoration so let's go through it today we're going to just take a, a passage which i think is very important while we're looking at the period of um of repentance you know while we're repenting we are repenting of the things that have been done to us and things that we've done to others and we look at it from the biblical perspective and see what you know, we, we try and look at what it says in the bible about it about forgiveness and 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 repentance now remember that those in christ it's not a condemnation uh, uh time it's 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 a it's a reflection time but when we reflect we reflect inwards and we reflect upwards and we reflect outwards but ultimately, it's the upwards that we try and reflect and look at the goodness of God and through His Son, Jesus Christ, who came and uh, uh, took away the sin of the world to give us a hope and a future and uh, life in Him. So I want to just uh, open up this verse while we're going through the first stage, which is the repentance. And it's just looking at uh, the repentance in, in our hearts, but also looking up. So let's take it from John chapter 1. I'm going to read the first few verses. I'm taking it from John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being by Him, and apart from Him nothing came into being that has come into being. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There came, there came a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for, for a witness that he might bear witness of the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came that he might bear witness of the light. Therefore was the true light which come, coming into the world in, enlightens every man. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and those who were his own did not receive him. But as many has received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word came, uh, became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we be, uh, beheld his glory, and the glory of only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him, and cried, uh, cried out, saying, This is this was he of whom I said, He who comes after me has a higher rank than I, for he existed before me. For his fullness we have all received a grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth were realized through the, uh, Jesus Christ. No man has seen God at any time. The only, begot, uh, the, bo the only begotten God who is in the bosom of the Father has explained him. And that uh, then goes on to the testimony of John, and it's taken out of the New American Standard Bible. 
So what can we learn from here is that uh, when we uh, walk this journey of repentance and uh, forgiveness and uh, restoration um, and the process of that, it's almost like walking with Jesus because he's the one that takes away the sin, as I said. He forgives us the sin. And the creator is the one who made all things and he's the sustainer of all things. Only God can control the universe, nobody else. So I just want to pray this, uh, to spend this time with you and just give thanks and we'll go into the next lesson next week more about um, uh, the, the journey of repentance. So Heavenly Father, thank you for today. We love you, we adore you, and we trust in you. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. See you next week. Love you lots.